Hello and welcome to this tutorial about Indoor Navigation and Multiset AI. In this video, you will learn how to use our navigation sample scene to build your Indoor Navigation app for Android and iOS using Unity and Multiset AI. This navigation sample includes pathfinding with Unity's NavMesh system, sample map, a navigation UI, points of interest prefabs, and a list to select destination. Now let's get started to set up the Unity project. You also find a step by step guide in our documentation. Create a new project, choose built in render pipeline as a template, give it a name. Don't need to connect it to Unity Cloud. As soon as the editor is open, you can go to the multiset and go to the multiset developer platform and download the SDK. To import, we go to assets, import package, custom package, and choose the downloaded SDK. Click import. Don't worry about the errors. We still need to import some packages. Open the package manager and go back to the Unity guide and import all those required packages. As soon as you have installed those packages, go to NavMesh Navigation and install the Unity NavMesh package. Then we need to enable the XR drivers for the different platforms. Go to XR plugin management, Android tab, Tele Google AirCore, and Apple AirKit. Next, we want to set up the multi set credentials for authentication. We need to set the client and the client's client. We need to set the client ID and the client secret. To do this, we go into the multi set platform. To do this, we go into the multi-set developer platform, credentials, and add new. And here we set a new credentials, copy those over to the script, client ID, and the client secret. Make sure when you commit your code to a Git repository or something else that you don't commit this file. So in include this file in the Git ignorer, for example. And let's take a look at the navigation sample scene. When you open it, you'll find a sample map that includes a baked nav mesh, points of interest, and a UI that allows you to select a destination and shows you the direction. The first time you start it, you'll get prompted to install the essential of XMesh Pro. To do that, you need to stop the deploy mode and click on import text mesh pro essentials then go ahead and start the play mode again and now try to navigate to a destination by using the simulator mode you don't have to worry about this error message that is because we didn't set a, a map code that will We'll do later. In the simulator mode, you can walk around with WASD and the right mouse button. To get started with navigation in your place, you need to replace the sample map with your own map. First, we want to create a copy of the navigation sample scene so we have a backup. Give it a name and open it. Game object multiset SDK manager, you will find most settings needed for multiset. For example, the localization type, you can choose between map or map set, and below you can add the corresponding code. Now let's go ahead and delete the map. Under map space, delete. 
And then let's go to navigation content and nav mesh to we'll remove the linked nav mesh. Next, we want to grab the code either from the map or the map set. And we copy it into the localization manager. A new feature that we add recently is the map mesh downloader. This allows you to download the mesh of the map or the map set directly into the scene. In the multi set SDK manager is a map mesh handler. This will allow you to enable occlusion, visualization, or no mesh at all to be seen in the camera view when you run the app. And go ahead and bake the nav mesh for your new map. And in most cases, you will not have a perfect nav mesh in the beginning, but we don't worry about that now. Make sure you deselect, show only selected, so you see the nav mesh at all times. It helps a lot to work with the nav mesh. We've added a show nav mesh script on the nav mesh game object that allows to see the nav mesh during runtime. This can be helpful for testing or to see how your space is aligned with the environment. And it can be toggled on and off with the isnav mesh shown boolean. To ensure that wayfinding is working correctly, we need to optimize our nav mesh. One of the most effective ways to optimize the nav mesh is to adjust the agent settings. Here, you want to play around with the variables a bit until you have a satisfying result. Most of the time, you want to set a low radius for the agent to connect the areas that are not connected yet. Sometimes it can happen that you have an incomplete mesh. You could either correct the mesh or, just in this example, place a game object that fills the area and just enabled it during baking. Like here with the floor and also with the ramp. And then let's see how it looks when we bake. Perfect. It's going up and here as well. And then don't forget to disable them again before continuing. Under the game object, better corners, you will find game objects that only have the nav mesh obstacle component, which serve to carve out a specific part of the nav mesh. In this case, this helps to make the line go better around the corners, because the nav mesh agent calculates the fast always the fastest routes so let me show you an example here in this corner there is already an obstacle and if you take it more out the line is more in the middle of the path unfortunately there is no solution yet from unity how to get the path from the middle of the available space the navigation line is implemented as a line renderer and in the show path component you can for example adjust the height above the ground here for example one meters or half a meter and with the is corners visible you're able to see how the line render works takes the path from the nav mesh agent and here we simply Visualize the corners. If you want to change the thickness, you can do this here on the line renderer component with width, or change the color or the look with a uh, material. To add destinations or points of interest, abbreviated as POI, you can use the prefab that is found in multiset prefabs and just drag it into the scene. Make sure you place it correctly in the scene. Most likely you want it on the same height as the other points of interest, but you don't have to worry so much about the rotation because it will rotate always to the user. 
in the POI script, it's important to set a unique identification and also a list title, POI name. And you can select also a type that has no effect yet. Maybe you can send the POI script that you will show a different item according to the type. At the collider, it's important that the pivot point is close to the nav mesh, as this will be used as the navigation destination. And the sphere collider is used to detect the arrival, and this is separate from the PUI game object so that the arrival can be optimized for every point of interest. Now let's build the app to the mobile device. We go to File, Build Profiles, and then, yeah. Depending on the platform we want to build for iOS or Android, we go and switch the platform. Now we still need to add the scene and make some player settings. Open the player settings. Here we need to switch off the Auto Graphics API and remove Vulkan because it is not supported by Google AR Core. We also need to set the minimum API level to 24. And in case you want to build for iOS, because we are using the camera, you need to set the reason why you're using the camera. So we write here a small sentence. And in case you are building for Android, you need to switch the active input handling to input package manager new. And restart, this will restart the, the editor. In case you are doing this only for iOS, you don't have to, you can leave it uh, on the default value both. After the editor has restarted, go to the build profiles again and start your build. Please notice that the first build can take up to five minutes or even longer, and subsequent builds will be faster. At the end of this video, we hope that you were able to get started. You're able to set up Unity, import a new map or map set. You're able to create the nav mesh and add points of interest. And most important, that you were able to build this to your device. For more detailed information, please check out our documentation guide and also the documentation guide of Unity itself. And last but not least, let us know in the comments where are you building your navigation app. And we're looking forward to see you on our Discord server. We help you in detail with your questions or send us an email at support at multiset.ai. And we're looking forward to hear from you. Cheers.